What time is it? Shut up, you're annoying. Time. I don't know. Oh, my phone right here, never mind. Stupid. 4.44. It's 4.44! 4.44! 4.44! Jay-Z's album. Jay-Z's album is finally here, y'all. And today I'm gonna be doing a review on Jay-Z's album. It's so exciting. Please watch the whole video. It's gonna be really exciting. It's gonna be really knowledgeable. And you're gonna learn from this. And you're gonna know what each song is about. It's gonna be fun, a fun journey. Fun, here we go. Kill Jay-Z was a pretty good starter to me. It felt like the start of a movie. He pretty much brings up Eric Benet, Solange, Future, supposedly. He's pretty much just talking about his ego in this song. He, he brings up this, the elevator fight with Solange. He pretty much said that he egged her on, so that's why he got his tail whooped. He's saying Eric Benet left one of the most beautiful women in the world, and he said he wasn't gonna be Eric Benet, never be Eric Benet, because in the future, he gonna see his son playing football with somebody else, and that's Shay. He gonna see, in the future, the rapper future, he gonna see his son playing football with somebody else. Now, Jay-Z, you wrong for that one. The story of OJ, basically about being black. And OJ Simpson back in the day, you didn't, you didn't, OJ, I'm talking to you, you didn't think you were black. You thought you were OJ. But Jay-Z's letting you know, that's okay, that's okay. But you're black, you're black. And everybody know, knew you were black. And you found out that you were black when the white people sent you to jail. Black people were having parades for you when you got released. Which white person did you see there other than the ones dressed in blue suits on horses going up and down the street? Anyways, this song is about being black. No matter what kind of black you are, rich, poor, light-skinned, dark-skinned, biracial, any kind, you're still black at the end of the day. I don't, I mean, I love this song because it's, it's talking, it's telling the truth, you're black. Next. Smile. Smile was an, an amazing song. It's pretty much just about living your truth. Living life to the fullest by being the realest you that you could be. By being who you really are in the inside and letting it be shown to the world. Not living your life in the shadows, not caring what other people think, not caring what other people say. Just being your true self. And this is one of my favorite songs. Jay-Z's mom, his mom comes out for being lesbian. She had four kids. He's saying how she had four kids and living this lie her whole entire life. And that's just so sad to hear. That hurts to hear. That's how some people really live, you know? She says a beautiful poem to at the very end. It's deep. That's all I'm gonna say. It's called Caught Their Eyes. It's like one of the catchier, not really catchier, but it's one of the mo more upbeat songs. It was a cool song. 444. This song is actually the name of the album. So it has a, you know, it has like a probably a deeper meaning or it means the most to him. But actually I know it does because he has said he woke up one night at 4.44 a.m. and he wrote this song. And that's weird because four is their Beyonce and Jay-Z's favorite number. It basically talks about how he took, he took his family and his wife for granted. He realizes what, what he's done. He realized what he did, and now he's basically apologizing for every single thing he's ever did because he, he doesn't want to take that for granted anymore. And I feel like this is what hip hop is about. Speaking your truth and just telling a story in a way. But you did what? Mm -hmm. Next song, Family Feud. This song is basically talking about a family who's having issues. To me, I think he means family is in like black community, black people. And he's basically saying that we all can win. And one of his lines says, it's better than one billionaire. Too. Why would you not want the next person to win? You both can win. I have a little example of that just from the other day. There was some guy on Instagram who sells uh, sunglasses. I was trying to get into selling things on my Instagram account and selling like sunglasses, for example. I just messaged him. Like, I had, we had been talking like uh, friends, internet friends for a little while. And I messaged him, asked him why, I mean, where, where he found his dis distributor for his glasses and how, and how I can get more information or like get into it. He hesitated to reply. He did not tell me. And yeah, he didn't tell me. <laughs> that just goes to show that black people, we don't like to see each other win. He did, he probably didn't want to see me make more business than him. If that was the case, these people are so weird, bro. So weird. Next song is Moonlight. First, let's take it back to the Oscars. We know how La La Land had got their name called, the movie name called, and Moonlight had actually won the Oscar for the award. He said, we stuck in La La Land. Even when we win, we gonna lose. He said, we stuck in La La Land. Even when we win, we gonna lose. Jay-Z is so smart, so smart. We can get so far, so far up in this world, there's always something to bring us back down. Marcy Me it was a pretty good song. It's, it, it's featuring the dream. His vocals sound amazing. The song is pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Next, Legacy. And it's basically just about, it's basically just a wheel. 
Jay Z is rapping his will. Supposedly, he doesn't write down his rhymes when he gets ready to rap in the studio. This is what I heard. He he doesn't write anything down. He is. This album to me was pretty amazing. This album kind of filled me. Like I was hungry when I first heard it, but now I'm filled. I feel like I just had Thanksgiving meal. This album took us on a journey. I feel like I was at the library, one of the little kids at the library, and Jay Z was the teacher reading us the book in the library. He told us a story, and it, it's just real life. It's real situations. It's real. That doesn't really exist nowadays. People don't take us on journeys. People don't tell us stories. They just talk about their money, their cars their girls, their lifestyle. And Jay-Z gave us that depth. This is real music. It literally filled me. And it really felt good just to go through the motions, just to be inside his head. And I feel like Lemonade was kind of the same way. And also Solange, Solange's album too, it took us to a place where we stepped, it's kind of like we stepped out of ourselves for a moment and just was in, in the album. Like we lived the album, <laughs> if that makes sense to y'all. I mean, it makes sense to me, but you know, I'm kind of crazy. I would suggest y'all go to give it a listen. I'll see y'all in the next video. Like this video, subscribe, comment, uh, leave me feedback. Yeah, till next time. Bye.